Alright, good evening gamers. Hope you all had a good Valentine's Day. I did for me especially since Mass Effect 3 demo came out and I can't wait to pick up this game on the 6th and try out the new multiplayer modes. That demos, I think those came out yesterday, but I haven't had time to download it. But without further ado, I will give you the deals of the week of February 12th to February 18th, 2012. Okay, uh, starting at number 10, I got The Killing Floor. It hit two ninety nine at Steam for, as part of the Midweek Madness. Um, this is, I remember playing this game when it had the free weekend for Steam, and it felt a lot like Left 4 Dead to me. And um, if, I had time, if I had the time, I'd probably pick up this game right now, but I'm just trying to churn through WWE All-Stars right now. Um, number nine, we have Star Wars Connect. This showed up today in my inbox as part of a uh, new X promo code thing. So if you got the promo code, it's only thirty seven ninety nine. And I know the reviews say the reviews at E three and stuff say or at the CES and whatever they had. They, they know this game has showed up in say otherwise, but you know some people for some this price people are probably gonna buy that. It, uh, number eight, we have buy two, get one free pre-owned games at Best Buy. So you know how this works. Buy two games, you get the third one of equal large value free. Uh, number seven, the DualShock 3 New Owners Kit at Newegg. It was $44.99. So in this one, you get uh, DualShock 3, of course, uh, an HDMI cable and a USB charging cable. Now, I think these have hit like sub-40 in the last couple months, but hey, the holidays are over. So it's not like you'll see those kind of deals drop again. Uh, number six, Newegg had a bunch of uh, Valentine's Day pre-order specials. Um, so all of the above games, which I'm going to say uh, right now, um, Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City, Armored Core 5, Ninja Gaiden 3, Street Fighter X Tekken, and or Cross Tekken, well, I don't know how to say it, and Silent Hill Downpour. All those games and pre-order codes were forty seven ninety nine, and you had to do it before February 15th. So um, if you're able to get on those, good for you. Number five, we have Batman Arkham City. It hit thirty nine ninety nine at Best Buy um, for both PS3 and 360. Not bad for, I believe this is the number three game, or the uh, top grossing game of the year, I think, behind Call of Duty and Skyrim. And speaking of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 hit thirty nine ninety nine at Best Buy and Amazon, and it's currently forty nineteen at Steam right now for when they go digital. And the plus for this is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is all the multiplayer portion of it is free on Steam this weekend. So if you want to get your uh, prestige on PC and you want to do it on Steam, go do so. Just don't ask Ramirez because he won't do it for you. <coughs> all right, number three, we have a uh, Glide has a coupon uh, five dollars. I'll have a ten dollar more purchase. We can use the code Lincoln Five in celebration of President's Day. Um, the good thing about this code too is. Um, this code is not just limited to video games, it's anything on the store, $10 or more. So if you don't want to buy games, if you want to buy some movies, do so. The only downside for me is I can't really find anything to buy right now. But hey, that's just, that's pretty rare for me. Um, number two, uh, more PlayStation Plus free stuff. So if you thought The Simpsons last week was good, um, well this time you get a bunch more. So the big, the big name in here is Far Cry 2. Um, it's free only for this week if you have PlayStation Plus. Um, we also get Infernal Pool. Um, I think it was supposed to come out last week, but uh, I got delayed. And then um, the other the other games surrounded off. You get Mahjong Tales, Super Sonic Acrobatic, Rocky Powered Battle Cars, Battle of Fantasia, and yeah, that's that's that rounds it up. And then some of the, some uh, House of Dead Three is also on sale for forty nine if you have PS Plus, which I plan to get before the sale ends because. I love real shooters. <laughs> and my number one deal this week is Rayman Origins going for nineteen ninety nine at GameStop. Um, I remember I remember reading a report earlier this week saying that how Rayman Origins helped Ubisoft with its profits this year um, in the last quarter. And even though it started off with a slow start, I think the price drop definitely helped because uh, I bought it for twenty dollars as well, and I streamed it for that. I streamed it because of that. And uh, additionally, I think this game has received a universal price drop. Um, Best Buy was selling for twenty nine ninety nine, likewise at Target. So 
Thirty dollars seems like a good price point <laughs> for a game that is roughly ten to twenty hours and doesn't have any multiplayer. And some honorable mentions, um, a lot of good stuff on Amazon for their, on their digital sales. They have, off the top of my head, they have Dungeon Defenders for three dollars, uh, Borderlands Game of the Year for I think seven fifty, Mass Effect One or Two uh, going for five bucks a pop. That's stuff I can remember, and Burnout Paradise for five dollars as well. I don't remember the rest, but Amazon's again been very competitive with their PC deals lately, and. Um, I've actually bought a couple of games from them because of that. And uh, next up on the list, we got uh, a few pre-ordered Mass Effect 3 on Origin. You really got a free copy of Battlefield 3. The funny thing about this is um, EA actually, I think, had the promotion good up to like March, like a couple days or the day before Mass Effect 3 was supposed to come out. But I think they ended the promotion early. I think, I don't remember what day, but I think it was Thursday or Friday. And... Um, so if you pre-order it now, you won't be able to get Battlefield 3 for free. But if you were able to cash in, and maybe maybe it's a good incentive for people to join Origin, since I believe the PC version is going to stay Origin exclusive for now. Uh, third up on the list, I have the Age of Wonders collection. It's 50% off on goodoldgaming.com, or GOG.com. And um, I think the first Age of Wonders is uh, $3 right now, and number two and Shadow Magic are going for 5 bucks each. I, uh, this is, to me, this is one of the most underrated games, um, ever released, and, um, I remember I played this game for hours when I was in, going, going from middle school to high school, just messing around with it, there are just so many things you can do. I'm going now. And, uh, and last up on the list, we got the Skyrim Collector's Edition, going for seventy nine ninety nine at Newegg. All systems are available, PS3, 360, and PC. Okay, and don't forget to follow us, especially on Twitch. Uh, I've been streaming a lot of uh, C9, a free-to-play Korean MMO, um, since I got a VIP pass. Um, we're approaching, we've broke 3,400 viewers as of last night, so thank you for those who support us. Um, Dar, the rest of the group will be posting stuff on YouTube, you know, have to run more contests on Twitter in the future, and we're going to be more, a lot more active on Tumblr and Facebook as well. And this is Eric signing off, and I'll see you next week with the next round of deals. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day.